chapter shelter i want to ask you a question which is the safest place in the world think and answer which is the safest place for you according to you in the whole world your home yes whenever we think of a cozy place where we would be comfortable where we, we would be safe we think of our home so similarly animals also need homes a hen needs a coop a dog needs a kennel yes there are more examples over here the horse needs a stable a lion needs a cave so everybody needs a home to remain safe and protected so the home our house gives us shelter that is why the name of the chapter is shelter let's discuss more about the early humans did not have a house to live in they would search from one place to another for food and they would find shelter either under a tree or in a cave but as humans developed they started settling down they started growing their own crops they started keeping cattle to provide them with food and transport then they started building their own house also initially they used to build the kachcha house what is a kachcha house a temporary house we will discuss more about it a kachcha house is prepared using the material available and according to the climate okay but nowadays as human beings have developed and learned architecture they have learned to build houses using bricks and cement now they live in pakka house pakka house is what a permanent house okay so there are two types of houses the kachcha house and the pakka house before we discuss the examples of kachcha house a question will arise in your mind that ma'am when bricks cement etc are so easily available then why do people build kachcha house and not permanent pakka houses so first let us discuss the example and along with example i will also discuss the reason for building a kachcha house the first example is a stilt house stilt house is built on wooden stilts these kind of houses are built where there is lots of rainfall due to the heavy rainfall floods are very common over there so if there is a flood then the water can come into the house and the house can you know get destroyed otherwise the things in the house can get destroyed for many days together water will be filled into the house so people are used to such climatic conditions and they build a kachcha house made on built on wooden stilts okay the next one is a tent now we all know that a tent is a temporary house which is used by either nomads or travelers the tent is used by those people who do not stay in one place they keep traveling from one place to another so they live in tents even travelers use tents those who go on the hills on the mountains for hiking or for a safari jungle safari even those people use tents as a temporary house then the other example is of a caravan caravans are used by gypsies or banjaras gypsies or banjaras normally they perform a um, dance or something and that is their way of living earning their livelihood so they have to travel from one place to another for days together so they live in caravans next is the igloo igloo is built in places where it is very cold because the building material of an igloo is blocks of ice so it can only be built in very cold places and surprisingly <clears throat> though the igloo is built of ice but it helps the eskimos to keep warm from the cold winds okay so that these are some of the examples of the kachcha house now you can do the exercises given on page number 68 now you will ask ma'am what is the example of a pakka house 
dear the example of pakka house is the home where you live the safest place in the whole world your home that is the pakka house it is permanent it is safe it protects you from the cold weather from the hot sun it protects you from wild animals and it protects you from the mosquitoes also since we have the violating on our windows and doors yes so it is our little cozy corner and it is permanent so that is the example of a pakka house okay now let's discuss the exercises given at the back of the chapter